It's Sunday fun day. What is happening guys? Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something very interesting from Noise. It's their all new Vortex smartwatch. Lot of people have been eagerly asking me, Vimal bhai, where is your video on this smartwatch? Well, I was a bit caught up in travel and events and finally after coming back to my home, there are so many unboxing videos I'll have to do. So starting off today, we'll be checking out Noise's all new Vortex smartwatch. This particular one actually, you know, brings back their premium round dial smartwatches with some very interesting features and it it's available in a couple of different color variants, I think five in total. Today in the house, we have three variants which I'll be showing you side by side and you know, give you like a full on experience and feedback on this model. As soon as you open it, we've got the smartwatch at the top and this is the rose pink edition, has these beautiful gold accents. And along with that, you get a charging cable as well. That's it, these are all the stuff. So there you go, I've unboxed all the three color variants. And first of all, let me show you the black edition. This is your jet black edition smartwatch guys and looks quite a classy from our initial impressions. In fact, it has a very sporty sort of vibe going on. I mean, look at the whole design over here. As I've told you, it's a premium round dial smartwatch from brand and has a very beautiful design. Even the build quality is top notch on this smartwatch. Entire body, the watch case is made of metal and has a very premium touch and feel guys. You can definitely see it in the video. So keeping this aside, let me show you the other variant as well. This is the space blue edition. And on the space blue edition, you're getting a silver accent body paired with like navy blue strap apps looks very cool I would say you know definitely if you're going for like an analog sort of feel silver sort of body feels quite premium right I mean gives you that titanium sort of feel and lastly coming to the third color variant we have in the house the rose pink edition you know I feel this is kind of specially made for all the girls out there if you're like a techie girl or maybe you're gifting it to someone maybe your sister your wife or anybody right they will definitely love this color it has gold accents on the watch case and pair that with these baby pink straps definitely looks quite appealing so so my mom actually liked this color variant a lot. I prefer the blue color edition and my dad liked the black edition guys. Which one did you people like? Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, moving on. First of all, now let me just quickly power it on, set it up and use it for some time. And then I'll be back to continue the video and share my feedback. All right, I'm back to continue this video. I've been using the Noise Vortex for the last couple of days and there are so many things I'll have to talk about. So make sure to watch this video till the end in case if you're planning to buy this model. First of all, let's talk about the display quality. The Noise Vortex features a big 1.46 inch AMOLED high resolution display and also has a slight 2.5D sort of curve at the edges. Now you do have bezels over here. I was expecting slightly thinner bezels, but again, for this price point, you can't complain much. Come on. It's it's an AMOLED display. There is nothing less you can expect over here from noise smartwatches. It's got like good amount of detail thanks to that high resolution panel. Everything looks crisp and clear. Like look at these dial needles over here and also the text as well guys. And colors are also very nice. Now AMOLED panel, yeah, everything looks like quite rich, vibrant and pops out on the display. Viewing angles are also great and brightness of the display is also like quite satisfactory. I didn't have any sort of issues checking out the display even in like outdoor bright situations as well. So that was about the display and one more thing a lot of people keep asking about the always on display support Obviously you have like always on display support So you have two theme options you can either choose analog pointer style or digital style So that is up to you you can change it from the settings and apart from that Yes, the smartwatch also has raise to wake display as well So you just need to you know give this gesture like lifting your wrist and there you go The watch display automatically turns on anyways moving on Let's talk about the software UI built-in apps and all of that first of all here's how the home screen on the smartwatch looks like and talking about the watch faces by default on board you're getting like three pre-installed watch faces but not to worry you can download even more watch faces from the noise fit compatible app on your phone i think it supports around like 100 150 plus cloud-based watch faces which you can easily install in a couple of seconds the whole navigation system still remains the same just like most of the other smartwatches out there uh, you've got like touch navigation gesture swiping down brings a notification panel swiping up gives you the status panel here you've got lots of information like Bluetooth connection status and also your battery level is there a couple of quick access shortcuts are also there now if you want to access like full-on widgets now you can do that by swiping left on the home screen you can go more in depth like this is your HR monitoring app you know all these are like quick shortcuts just like you would have seen on most of the other noise smartwatches SPO2 level measurement music player is also there weather analysis and you know a couple of other widgets now suppose if you want to access a complete list of apps 
apps and features present on it you can do that by pressing this top right button on the smartwatch and there you go here's how the app layout looks like and the bottom right button is used to directly access your workout activity so that shortcut is also available anyways let's quickly head over to the app section and you know check out all the built-in apps available on the noise vertex smartwatch so first on the list is your noise health suit application which includes your complete health range like your current day fitness activity level, HR, SPO2, sleep data analysis, breathing exercises, stress level measurement, all of these unified into one single app. Followed by noise buzz which is your bluetooth calling app. You can literally talk to anybody from the smartwatch as it has onboard mic and speaker. I'll give you a demo of this as well at a later part in the video and talk about that. Moving on you've got a couple of other applications like in the clock section right you can access your alarms, time and also stopwatch app is also built in but for some reason again calculator app was missing on this smartwatch now that's a bit strange because all the recent noise smartwatches had a built-in calculator I'm not sure why it was missing over here maybe noise will add it in a future OT update please noise if you're looking at this video try to push out an OTA for calculator very useful I would say and apart from that you have all the built-in apps guys that you would usually see on most of the smartwatches like weather music player and camera remote shutter all these are a Available. Lastly, going to the general settings, here you can access a couple of watch related settings like adjust the brightness, you know, toggle tap to wake function, ringtone vibration is also available, you can either put it to silent mode or adjust the vibration level intensity as well, raise to wake function you can toggle, adjust the screen timeout settings, auto sports detection is also available and that is pretty much it guys. And here's the AOD section, you can change all your always on display theme styles like pointer or digital style as per your choice. So that's it basically it our complete overview on the built-in apps features and also the UI let me tell you about the health related features I've been using the smartwatch for the last couple of days right it's got HR measurement SPO2 level measurement stress level measurement is a sleep data analysis a basically it's like a full-on package guys and I've been testing all these sensors sensors on board were doing a decent job and giving accurate results almost 90-95% of the time and also one more thing a lot of people doubt about the sensors like are they actually giving accurate readings so to show you that I've actually put this smartwatch on this toy batman over here and unless you put it on your real hand right it won't function and it will give you like an error message saying try again so that means the sensor on it is actually real and definitely works wait a second i haven't told you about the bluetooth call quality experience right setting up bluetooth call was very simple on this smartwatch you have noise true sync support right so that makes things easy once you do that you can add up to like 10 favorite contact shortcuts using which you can do like one tap calling to that person and since it has like onboard speaker and mic you don't even need to take out your phone from your pocket to answer anybody's call everything can be done from your wrist itself anyways let me just quickly give you a demo let me just dial some number from the dialer pad and show you how the speaker quality on it sounds like just listen to this clip Bluetooth call quality experience on this smartwatch was very good. Microphone on board was working nice. Other person could easily hear and understand what I was speaking, not an issue at all, just like your smartphone guys. But coming to the speaker quality, speaker quality was nice. There was good amount of clarity. The other person's voice, everything was like clear and audible. Only thing I felt is the speaker's output was a bit limited guys. If you're using this indoors now, maybe at your home, then perfect, nothing to worry about. But if you're using this in maybe like traffic situations outdoors, there you might feel sound output is a bit limited so keep that point in mind all right moving on let me tell you about the battery life as well now again battery life was kind of similar guys just like any other noise bluetooth calling smartwatch nothing impressive over here if you use this smartwatch on a moderate sort of usage with minimum bluetooth calling and you know aod turned off and maybe like you know light applications doing workouts once in a while you can expect around like six to seven days of battery life but now if you're like a heavy user you use like bluetooth calling a lot daily always connected to your phone that too with at least 70% brightness then you'll get like max one and a half to two days of battery life so that is the kind of experience I was getting during my usage so that's it boys our complete video on Noise's brand new Vortex smartwatch it's a pretty good looking smartwatch I would say you're getting a premium round dial experience with an amazing AMOLED display that to 1.46 inches super big it's also IP68 dust and water resistant plus Bluetooth calling support is there all your health related functions are available and comes in multiple color variants to choose from 
Only thing as I've told you guys, calculator app is missing and battery life is kind of mid. This thing costs around like 2,999 rupees available on both Noises website and also Amazon. Links for it will be available in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it. I hope you all got to know everything about this model. So make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.